This illustration deals with ungrounded systems supplied by a feeder or a branch circuit in accordance with NEC 250.32C as in car one. Now, previously, we've looked at systems that were grounded. In other words, the power supply transformer, whatever was supplying the power, was a grounded system. Now, notice the building to the left with the service equipment. The utilities are supplying an ungrounded uh, system. In other words, the transformer is not grounded. And these provisions have been uh, worked out with the utility to supply an ungrounded system. So the service supplying the building uh, or buildings in some cases is ungrounded because of the manufacturing procedure of these buildings, uh, uh, what they're manufacturing. Now, notice the raceway routed from the... Uh, main building one uh, over to the building to the right is an ungrounded uh, system. In other words, the, uh, the power uh, is ungrounded, but we still have equipment grounds routed uh, to the equipment for bonding purposes uh, to, uh, in some cases, uh, send a signal if one of the ungrounded conductors uh, go to ground from an ungrounded system. And notice the equipment ground, if you review the panel board in the building to the right, the called out information basically says the equipment ground connected to the grounding electrode system and the building uh, number two uh, complies with 250.32C uh, as in car one and then, of course, the grounding scheme being uh, an equipment ground and maybe uh, a raceway system, too, in accordance with 250.118, uh, we, as designers, installers, use 250.118 to provide a grounding scheme. 250.119 now is used to color code or identify the equipment ground. And then once again, uh, as I have previously, I recommend your review of two, uh, excuse me, 310.6 and 310.10 that deals with color coding and identification and then also uh, insulation used in wet, damp, dry uh, locations that uh, were the conduct conductor's insulation is exposed to the sun. Those two sections are great sections because they refer you to all these sections that you don't have to memorize. You can go to this 310.6 and 310.10, and it's going to refer you to the sections that's important for your review based upon how you'd use the insulation of a conductor, based upon its location, environmental uh, conditions where the insulation is exposed. Uh, as well as your color coding and identification. Once again, 310.6, 310.10, know those. Now, all we're pointing out here is that your equipment grounding scheme has to ground all the metal of the raceways, the enclosures, and so forth back to the service ground uh, in building number one, and also you'd have to uh, inside the building to the right, all of the metal there it would be bonded and grounded back to the grounded bar connected to earth ground as you see in the illustration. So this figure 16-59A deals with ungrounded systems supplied by a feeder or branch circuit, branch circuit, excuse me, in accordance with 250.32C1. So this figure is dealing with ungrounded power sources.